Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 on YouTube. I do not own any of this. Their properties and their trademark belong to their respectable owners. Warning. This review has blood and gore and animal deaths. So, I suggest you do not watch it any further. On to the video. Hello everyone. In today's prehistoric animal films, review of prehistoric animals. So we're going to be talking about Tarbosaurus, the mightiest ever. Now, let's go a little bit of history on this film. So now you know the history on Tarbosaurus the Mightiest Ever. So let's get started on prehistoric animals that appear in the documentary. And there are some inaccuracies. Hemonychnus, a pterosaur. Well, it's only a trace fossil, which means there are pterosaur footprints that were discovered in the year 2002 so and here we have my microraptor there are some inaccuracies like microraptor only lived in the early creta early cretaceous so it should have already been extinct and the color patterns are wrong you know that microraptor had black feathers but it wasn't known until what year was it when Microraptor had any feather coloring? If you know what year was was it known about, let me know in the comments below. Protoceratops. Pukiongosaurus, a sauropod. But there are some inaccuracies. Like one, it did not appear in the late Cretaceous. So, Pionchosaurus lived in an early Cretaceous. Between 120 to 100 million years ago. So, it should have already been extinct. Why well, can't use sauropods from the late Cretaceous from Asia? And Therizinosaurus. Well, there are some inaccuracies, like one, it should have been covered with feathers. And it did not eat meat or is an omnivore. It's a herbivore. Syndosaurus, a hydrosaur. And uh, velociraptors. Gotta say, I'm disappointed. I mean, look at them. Look like they've been ripped off of Jurassic Park 3. I mean, look at those color schemes. Seriously. And how did how did the company or producers didn't even got sued for copyright? How did they even get away with it? How? And the king of Asia, Tarbosaurus. And uh well, I got nothing much to say. Well, I guess that's it for Tarbosaurus the Mightiest Ever. And looking back at it, I have seen the documentary film. And it was 50-50. Um, I, mean, I mean, the dinosaur models ripped off of Jurassic Park and the Therizinosaurus body structure ripped up of chased by dinosaurs 
I mean, seriously. How did they how did they even got away with it without getting a copyright strike from another company from outside the country? How did they not notice? I mean I'm not a filmmaker I'm not a filmmaker and I don't know how it works or what companies do in different countries. But I love the Tarbosaurus roar. Because, huh. uh, you know, the Kakarotosaurus roar and all that. But dinosaurs did not roar. They either growl and bellow. But wait. If I upload the video, will the YouTuber that did a ripoff video of Tarvis was the mightiest ever, cause uh, he might get triggered. Cause that's gonna post a lot of triggered on my comments. Now I'm scared and terrified. So, anyways, like and subscribe, hit the bell so you know new videos for new content. And the next one I'll be doing Di Dino King. And later. Dino King 2. Till next time. See you later, guys.